Hello everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today it's the Beko washing machine. How to keep it hygienically fresh. If you're doing a lot of washing at 30 or 40 degrees, that is not hot enough to kill any bacteria and bugs. Right, let's get cracking. Ideally, you should be running this hygienically fresh washing program about every 30 washing cycles or every couple of months. <laughs> Now what you're going to need today is your partner's toothbrush for cleaning. Lurgs, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the washing machine again? Um, no. And you're also going to need some hot soapy water and a wet cloth. This is the BK washing machine here and this is the WM622W. But this procedure is the same for all BK washing machines and in fact all washing machines. Now as part of keeping it hygienically fresh, the first thing you must do is clean the filter. And there's a link above now about how to do that. And the next thing to do is remove the dispenser drawer and give this a really good clean. So just push down on this button here, remove that dispenser drawer, take your partner's toothbrush, Bugs. some hot soapy water, and just give this a really good clean. You want this to be in sparkling condition because any mold or gunk on there is just gonna go down into your laundry and that is not good news. I'll cut this footage short, but this is what it looks like afterwards. Absolutely sparkling clean, fantastic. Also the inside of the dispenser drawer here can get really dirty, full of gunk and mold. So give this a good clean with a hot soapy cloth. You can also get a wire in here or a dental floss toothbrush just to clean up these jet holes. Make sure you cover up the hole down below with a cloth because you don't want to drop your toothbrush down there. And that's what it looks like after you've finished. Now we can put the dispenser drawer back in. Now that it's all nice and clean, the drawer and the inside. And now we're just going to clean the rubbers. So again, take your hot soapy cloth and just make sure this is nice and clean. And now we're ready to do the hygienically fresh washing program. Now I've got some Dr. Bettman's washing machine cleaner. This goes straight in the drum. If you haven't got any of this, just use a small amount of normal liquid detergent or washing powder. And then what you do is you, if you haven't got a drum clean program or a service option program, just select the cotton wash, select it to the hottest setting it will go on. On this Beko it's 90 degrees centigrade and select a quick wash and then just press the start button. Now what this will do is it will clean the washing machine thoroughly with 90 degrees centigrade water, which is almost boiling point. So just remember, keep any young children away from this washing machine while you're doing this service program because that glass will get extremely hot and you don't want any burnt fingers. Whilst it's doing this, there's a link above now about how to uninstall a washing machine. So if you've just bought a brand new washing machine and you're gonna install that yourself, you wanna know how to uninstall your old washing machine. Now, if you've selected the cotton 90 degrees centigrade program, this should take about an hour and a half. And this will basically kill almost all bacteria and just make it clean and sparkling fresh and hygienically fresh. And there's a link above now about what to do if your washing machine is not draining water. So the glass is extremely hot. I'm gonna cut this footage short again so we're now on the rinse cycle. It's filling up with the hot water. And then it's just gonna do another spin. And there's a link above now about how to install a brand new washing machine. This is now doing a rinse with the 90 degrees centigrade hot water. And there's a link above now where I review the Bosch Siri 4 15 minute super quick wash. This is where you can get your clothes clean in 15 minutes. And now it's on the final spin. And now the washing program has ended, so I can turn it off, open the door, and we can do the sniff test. If you're gonna be leaving the washing machine for a little while, make sure you leave the dispenser drawer open and the door open, just to give a bit of ventilation. 
I'll tell you what, that smells fantastic. That makes such a difference. And now it's time for a lovely cup of tea. Oh. Oh. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.